Yo guys, what is happening? This is that fish breeder here. Finally got you guys a good video. Oh my gosh, it has been a very long time. I am so sorry. <laughs> I mean, I admit it has been um what day is this? This is day 14 of my Daphne coaching series. And um yeah, it has been a very, very long time. I mean, uh if you're wondering why, it's it's actually because um there has been trouble for me at least, uh trying to upload on YouTube. Uh, last couple days, or not the last couple days, but I was trying to upload you guys a video, I believe it was like day 9 or day 10, and I tried uploading for you guys, and I, and it just wouldn't work, so I waited the next day, and it wouldn't upload either, and I've been trying for the last couple days trying to upload the video, but for whatever strange reason, uh, YouTube's decided to be difficult, so, here I am, finally getting you guys a video, um, hopefully this one can upload, <laughs> so, uh, I decided to, you know, re um re-record a whole new video because this video is kind of, you know, the old video is kind of outdated because I have done a lot of stuff uh, as of recently. So, as you can see, first things first, uh, the whole setup's changed. Yep, the larger container that I had here is completely gone. I uh, chucked out that culture. Um, I did harvest the couple that were in there, the couple adults, but uh, otherwise that culture is done for. Um, if you're wondering why, I believe that I may have poisoned the culture. Uh, since you know how the larger container did house um, uh, aquarium water for my 10 gallon, I do believe that that water may have contained dissolved um, minerals or dissolved uh, materials, uh, whatever it may be that um, dissolved metals, I could say, uh, I don't really know, but, and it started to really slow down the culture, the growth was really slow in comparison to my other culture, which is booming, might I add, it is doing amazing, I'll show you soon, but, um, yeah, the culture was really dying out, and, uh, I didn't really feel like it was a culture worth saving, and I didn't really, uh, uh, I really wanted to get this five gallon in here, so uh, I chucked that one out. I harvested the few, added them into this container. Uh, now this container, it, this is the five gallon that you know was right there. This is the five gallon, same thing, nothing new. I I had washed it well before, um, cleaned it out, dried it. Um, now this water here, now this is what I tell you. Uh, the first water that I used was. So just some arrowhead spring water nothing special just bottle spring water it took me about four of these containers to fill this uh container up to around here so it was about halfway from what it is now and uh that's what i first filled the culture in uh the culturing water it was fresh water nothing new uh no contaminants that's for sure and i just dumped those daphnia in and i took about a good eight or ten adults from here and i added them in here and uh they're doing really well. Uh, let me show you guys what they're like. Uh, let's see if we can find them. They really like to congregate in this corner. I don't really see them anywhere else. You can find a couple strays here and there, but a majority are in here. Let's see if uh, you guys can see it. You can already see the movement of them just sitting in that corner, right? You guys see it, right? Uh, yeah, well, I can see it uh, through the camera. and. You can see that they have gotten a lot bigger if they're that visible. So there are really a whole lot of them. And uh, so that's all the adults. And they've been having a lot of babies. Now, I'm, t I'm telling you, I have about a good 20, 30 more babies in here. Um, I can't really see them right now because they're just tiny. But they are in here. So they have been multiplying. And that tells that tells me that they not only can survive in this water, but they can propagate in it. So uh, that really makes me happy because, you know, I know that this culture is not as contaminated and uh, it will do well because this is my this is my uh, main culture. This culture is actually going to become uh, I'm going to remove it, clean it out. Well, I'm going to harvest all of the Daphne, of course, but um, I'm going to clean it out. And once I cleaned it out, um, then uh, I may re sorry, I may reuse it. Sorry. Uh, for a side culture, just in case this one may have problems, it may crash, whatever it may be. So this is to be my main culture. It's probably going to be, be filled with water to the brim or around up to here. Uh, it's not going to be this low once I start adding more and more Daphne in here. So don't you worry. Um, now, if you're wondering what the rest of the water is, if you've 
uh, heard me before. I said it was up to here filled with bottled spring water, right? So the other half. Now, the other half is actually part of my test because I wanted to see if my dechlorinated tap water was contaminated as well. Uh, I've been using dechlorinated tap water, um, you know, for my fish tank. So I was afraid that maybe that was the source of the contaminants, whatever it may be, metals or um, dissolved minerals or whatever maybe have poisoned my previous culture. So I added, you know, I, I st this is my guinea pig container, uh, currently, that is. And um, I... As I said before, I had the Daphne in here. This was a couple days ago. This isn't new, but I added water slowly and slowly until it was about halfway. So about an inch worth of water for this entire uh, five gallon uh, hexagonal tank. And uh, obviously, as you can see over in that corner, they are indeed still alive and thriving. Ooh, sorry. It's kind of hard to focus, but they are living. They are, have been propagating and they've been eating well. Uh, I feed this culture just like the other one, uh, just like the other culture. I simply mix yeast in with some aquarium water in this container, swish it around until it's all dissolved, and I just pour away and I mix the container. Uh, that's pretty much it, very simple. And uh, I give them a good 12 hours to finish the meal because I make it until it's about cloudy, uh, slightly cloudy. Uh, you can still see through it, but it is cloudy enough that uh, it's visible. And uh, once that's, uh, I wait about 12 hours until it's clear like this. This is a round clear for now. And uh, I'll probably start having to feed soon. And I feed about twice a day, so every 12 hours. And uh, they've been doing great on that um, meal setup. Uh, they, if anything, their meal, um, con their consumption of yeast has increased. Uh, obviously, it's not the Daphne themselves that are uh, increasing their consumption but it's just the amount of daphnia have been increasing so it shows that not all, that's another proof that my uh culture has been multiplying um besides the obvious reasons uh and now let me show you the really productive culture this is the one that really makes me proud uh you guys can just see how many there are um it's a little cloudy as you can see it just it's starting to grow a film on the top of the water so i'm going to have to harvest this culture soon because i am very afraid that it's gonna crash as you can see there's algae everywhere so there's that means to me that there's a buildup of nitrogen and uh that's not very good um i i could be doing a water culture but uh, i feel there's no reason to because this culture it this culture apparatus is going to be cleaned out soon so i feel i'm just going to Harvest probably after this video. I'm gonna swish my brown chip net in here and harvest as many adults as I possibly can And put them in this um, my five gallon because this is gonna be as I said before the main culture and container so um, Here let's see As you can see there's so many oh my god uh, as I said before in my Video long long ago. Uh, I said there was about how many? Uh, I believe there were an odd 40, 50. It was a good production. Uh, that was when my culture was first starting to multiply. And here, I could definitely, without a doubt, tell you I have a good 200. No doubt about it. There's a good 200. I don't know why the camera can't see all the smaller ones, but uh, I, I'm looking at it right here, like, over my camera, and I'm telling you guys, there is... A lot of baby ones there's a lot so they have been multiplying as I've said before um they really propagate fast the ad each individual adult can have up to what was it 200 400 uh, children a day um, so considering how I have a good 20 adults in here that that's probably the reason why I have so many um, maybe not as much as the statistics show but definitely enough to suit my needs that's for sure so uh this culture is going to be harvested soon now one thing i wanted to show i don't know if you guys can see it but there are these freaky um creatures growing in my culture with my daphne i have no idea what they are uh let me show you guys they, they seem to cling on to the side of the container uh you see that little uh those little things that are on the side yeah those things that are moving um they kind of remind me of l like little 
little rice almost. If you can see that shape, they're like an oblong shape right there. Yeah, the one that's moving. That thing, I have no idea what the heck those are. And those are alive. They may look like some of them are moving. Like that one's moving hella fast. I have no idea. But some of them, you know, seem to stay put unless disturbed. Like I see Daphne bump into them and they move. Like that one's moving on its own. I have no idea what these are. They're kind of freaky. See, look at that one. What are they? Um, I'm afraid that it may, you know, hurt my culture in some way. Uh, I don't honestly know what they are. Uh, if you ask me, they kind of remind me of the shape, not only of rice, as I've stated before, but they kind of remind me of the shape of, ooh, sorry, uh, paramecium. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but those are microorganisms that kind of thrive in cultures, kind of like the ones that resemble infusoria. Um, they're very tiny, like requiring a microscope tiny. But this is this kind of seems like to me like what they look like um, in a larger, larger version. I have no idea what they are, and they're in my culture. So I'm going to, when I harvest my culture, I'm going to try not to get those things. See, they're moving. What are those? It, they kind of freak me out, actually. I don't know what they are. Uh, they swim in my culture freely. Uh, I don't know what they eat, but they... they uh, I first picked it up because I saw these things swimming around, and they don't swim like Daphnia. Uh, see, right there. They don't swim like Daphnia, and they're very fast. That thing was really fast. They don't swim like Daphnia in the sense that they hop, uh, which is what made me notice them. They sh literally, like, swim across. They streak across like missiles. And, um, there's a good, like five ten of those and that may not sound like a lot but i don't know what they are for all you know they're eating my daphne as we speak so they're kind of freaky uh if anybody has a daphne culture or just knows what they are in general please tell me because these things are really um worrying the hell out of me so i i wouldn't hate to infect my larger container my larger container with those things so i'm going to try my best to avoid them as best I possibly can. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't think they're eating my Daphne because they don't look predatory. Of course, looks are deceiving, so we'll have to see what they do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to harvest that culture soon and hopefully try to avoid those things as best as possible. Yeah, um... So that's about it as far as the Daphne and culturing is concerned. Uh, things have been going great pretty much. The only bad thing is those whatever coexisting creatures, hopefully not predatory. Uh, but their multi their uh, propagation is good. Their feeding is good. They're healthy. And they still, you know, they're, they're doing what Daphne do best, eat and breed. So uh, that's about it as far as the Daphne culture. So... Let me see, let me show you guys what I've been doing with the green water culture. Alright guys, be ready. Alright guys, I am back and as you can see, I have two cultures, yeah. Alright, so, um, obviously they're not as green as they were before, both of them for a matter of fact. So, um, that means to me that maybe I might have transfused a bit too much. So, uh, this is the original culturing container that I had it in my previous videos this is the new one that I put in about a day ago maybe a day and a half ago I'm not quite sure um, but what I did as I've said before in my previous videos I sliced half of that culture out put it in here and I topped both off with fresh aquarium water which is in this bucket right now I had some extra left over so I just decided to leave it out here and um, yep I really don't know what to do with it right now but I have the two containers full um, yeah, and both these cultures are full with water, and as you can see, the original kind of, like, lost its dark green, or not dark green, but light greenish coloring. It's more of a mm, brownish green, so it's kind of lost its pigmentation. Now, this container, it's really fresh, it's new, and it's obviously just started, so I'm not surprised that it is a more brownish color than it is a greenish color. Um... Both of which do, in fact, have a film of algae uh, along the side, or along the top, I should say. Um, I don't really know how to deal with that. I, I, the only way I could see to get rid of that is using um, an aquarium airline tubing and bubbling the hell out of it so as to keep the circulation going. But obviously, I don't really want to put a air pump out here 
like outside you know because animals might get to it because we do have like raccoons and uh um, cats and stray dogs whatever messing around with their stuff so I hate for them to mess with my airline tubing and whatnot so um, this is the best I kind of got so I really don't care right now I'm just trying to experimentate with this green water culturing um, there's really not much I can tell you guys uh, sorry allergies uh, the smaller I mean the newer one is a little um, I don't know what's the word it's not rancid but it's a bit uh, um shoot i can't put my finger on it but it, it I, I think you guys know what i mean it's a bit you know messier not as uh clean smell to it. it it's more of a decaying smell this one has obviously been going for such a long time that the algae is starting to take over and it's a more of a fresher smell it's kind of strange to explain algae smelling good but it's it's better than a decaying rotting smell so that's kind of what i've got for these two cultures so far hopefully you know i didn't just destroy my cultures by transferring them um this is pretty much it uh i'm just gonna really not mess around with these these are just to be left outside and see how they go so um there's nothing more i can really say um now I'll try to get you guys more videos. Now the thing is, there hasn't office, um, blah, 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 sorry, hasn't honestly been a whole lot of stuff I can get you guys because, well, not a lot of things have happened. So I'm going to try my best to get the cultures, you know, up and running, um, and get more and more uh, exciting things for you guys, so you guys don't get bored of my videos so quickly. So um, I'll update you guys accordingly and that's about it so i uh, hope you guys like this video as i always say in every video comment and um rate you know um if you have any questions you know i'll answer them you know I'll, you can send me a personal message you can send me a um just a comment on this video or any of my videos i'll check it you know i check it i check my youtube every day um um, numerous times every day so I'll answer it anything from Daphne and brand shrimp you know everything uh, just send me a hit up and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video all right guys uh, yep see ya